Our sizzle offshore. <laughs> and a little butterfly, uh, butterfly jig right out here. We found a rip set up. Darcy's got the kite baits out, put on the butterfly jig, I'm jigging it in 250, and he trucked it like it was really close to the boat, like 20 feet under the boat, actually. Beautiful fish, aren't they? That gold stripe. Today we're doing some offshore fishing out of Boynton Beach Inlet, and Victor from Land Shark Fishing is on the boat today. Just landed the first fish, nice little football, blackfin tuna. And we just got set up. We're straight out of Boynton kite fishing. We also got down lines on the one side, and he's been jigging in, thir in uh, what was it, three yeah, casts? Yeah, three casts, and got this nice one. Already. Yeah. Nice five pound, six pound blackfin. That's we got meat in the boat, we got sushi. Yep. That's what's for dinner tonight. How do you feel about jinxing my boat today, Victor? I didn't jinx it. We didn't up talk it at all today. <laughs> we didn't. What are you talking about? He broke the spell. We always never catch fish when we're together. <laughs> We just caught a 42 inch snook. I'm talking about offshore. I'm not talking about yeah, inshore salt water. That's different. Hey, we're not snakehead fishing, so we're going to catch something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, check out our snakehead, check out the snakehead collaboration we did with Land Shark Fishing. I'll put the link over here. And uh, anyway, we're kite fishing still. We're, there's no current. The current died. We're in the middle of the uh, tide, so we should have more current, but we don't. And the wind is barely enough to keep our kite up and we're using a big game kite which I've told you about before and if we were using a, one of those FE, F, SFE kites I don't think it'd be up right now quite frankly maybe the light wind but it would be flipping and flopping like this to all over the place would not be up we need helium so the big game's good it's good flying you know it's up we got two baits stars is watching them but again we haven't got no fish the, the pressure is through the roof Jig up Brian a tuna right now, but it's not really working. All I'm getting is a sore shoulder. I got Victor working over here. I got Sizzle on the kite lines. So I, I'm working smarter, not harder. They're working harder, which is how I, you know. He just brought us for is that labor. That's basically it. This is how lawyers do it. This is how lawyers fish. He's telling you right now it's mutton. It's a mutton. It's a mutton. It's a mutton. Right now. It's a mutton. It's guaranteeing it. Let's see. Let's see. It is a mutton. No, it's not. It's a blue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you were right. What was that again? It's a mutton. It's a Bahamian mutton right there. It's real. Bring it tip to me. Go. Make sure she's clear on that, on that rod. Make sure she's clear going around the boat. You got Benita? Yeah. Guess what you're having for dinner tonight? Oh, that's mine. You get the tuna, I get the Benita. <laughs> Is it too small? You can't gap that. You can't gap that ass. Yeah, dude, we can't even keep this fish. He's too small. All right, bring him around the back. Oh my God, the smallest king I've ever caught. All right, got this kingfish. He's on mono. He might break off. He's too small to keep. You got to be 24 inches. Just bring him in the back. He might just be barely legal. Probably not. Nice job. Little king. In the a boat. Little baby king. Smallest king I've ever seen. Yeah, but look at that hook set. Nice in the corner. Yeah. Nice mustad hook set. He's bleeding. Let's wash those teeth. Mustad provides the hook set too. Not just the hooks. You want to measure them? Measure them. I don't, I don't want to keep them. Do I care? Why? You want him? Yeah. He's big enough. Okay, big enough. Pretty sure he's big enough. It's 24. That's the size, right? 24 to the fork, though. I think it was 24 to the fork. Yeah. A little short. Yeah, you don't want to get a ticket for that. All right, a little short. Going back quick. That's where he lives. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Let's 
Gonna be a nicer fish. That's not a blue runner. Gotta get him up, the sharks. Yes. Oh! It just pulled hook, I think. I don't know, actually. I don't know what happened. I don't know if I got cut off. I might have gotten shark. Wow. Yeah. Uh, shark? I think so, yeah. Didn't I Sharks say to pick it up off. fast? You lost everything? I, I can't make you happy all the time. <laughs> I try. I try my best. Darn. We got a clean. We got a clean cut right there. That's not a not failure, folks. That's a clean cut. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Move that fish. Oh, there we go. Shark number two. Damn, the sharks are bad. There's some sea monsters down there. Nice. Let's get them up, get them up. Nice. Oh. Go up, 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 up. No. Shark. Shark. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's making his last runs. Come on, AJ. You don't want to get, get sharks. Up. Come on. Get like that on a drag. Land shark fishing! Oh, we lost him. Yep. Yes. Get him, Darcy. <laughs> get him, get him. Get him. Jesus. Big fish. Big fish. Will. I can't. Pump. This thing is really hurting me. Get the yellow thing over there. Quick. There's, there's, there's. Get her out up a little bit. Oh, yeah. okay. You got him, you got him, you got him. Here you go, here you go, here you go. Here you go. Oh, she got a monster on, guys. Oh, that's it, he's done. It's just running. Oh, I can't talk. I really hope you're oh, I am trying so hard to stop this fish. Got it, this fish. It's still pulling drag. Stop pulling. You glad you got an 80 now, right? What? You know you got an 80 pound on there? Oh god. <laughs> I can't get him up. I can't get him up. I need help. Alright. I got him up a few feet, but um he is that's a big fish we got on. I thought it was a shark for a second, no. but I can definitely feel the head shakes of a fish. And a shark is more just like driver side of the sizzle. We got a giant AJ on. Like yeah, we should go straight away from the wreck. Yeah, we're off the wreck pretty good yeah, right no. now. I'm pulling up more drag. But I'm driving. And he hit like while well, I was halfway up jigging. Alright. Well, when you think you got him up a little bit, I'll take over again. Oh, we're gonna land him. Oh. There's, a lot, there's a lot of pressure to try. If you guys ever hook an AJ, immediately put the boat in gear and drive away from it. Because they want to stay down and they want to stay near that wreck. So if you drive away from it, even if they're down, okay. there's a less chance of you breaking off on that wreck. We're way off. Whoa! Dude, you're gonna be a 70 pound that's AJ. A fish. We, can land we will. I'm staying optimistic. My that little reel is powerful. That's yeah. that little accurate, that's right? Scary. I'm ready to do it again. I have more jigs. We're going through all our jigs today. I don't think he was gonna. I don't. He wasn't coming up, man. So you think a shark ate it? I think a shark ate it. I mean. Yeah. yeah probably. I just don't understand how the sharks can go without cutting it off and freezing. Shark. Yeah. Well, usually they do, but you get lucky or unlucky yeah. sometimes, I guess. I guess we got, yeah, I guess we got perfectly lucky. All right, just to recap, I had a monster. No, Darcy caught a monster AJ on there, and then I think I got shocked, so I was trying to get it up, and her, we were both trying to get it up, got off the wreck, and, and it wasn't moving. So I started thumbing the reel, because I was, anyway, I thumbed the reel to get it up, and, and it broke off. It broke off real high, though, so I'm not sure what happened with that. Maybe it's rubbing against the shark skin or something, but, uh. Anyway, we're going to try it again. Land shark fishing over here wants to get a big one. That hook doesn't look too good. That doesn't look very healthy. <laughs> it's all bent out. Here you go. Okay. The bikini's out. Guns you got the bikini out. out. Hopefully we'll catch a fish. I'm keeping her in the background like you guys like. <laughs> How you doing, Captain Pat? What's the report? There's nothing going to the south current. No current and then a south current and he got a nice black fin. That's good. 
And we got a little king we threw back, and then we got our asses handed to us on the wreck, on the sky cliff. All right, we're doing some inshore saltwater trolling now. And um, just decided to make a move inshore because there's no current out there, and we weren't having much luck on the wreck. But I have a little fish here. I think I've got a jack. Very cool. Barely hooked. Coming in upside down. <laughs> All right. Mr. Yeah. We've got another jack. Another jack in the boat. On my favorite crystal minnow. No snook yet. We're looking for him. All right, you guys ready to wrap it up? Yep. Be sure to check out my channel, Dar Sizzle Offshore. We have new videos every single day. All right, we're wrapping up our day now. We're headed in to back to the dock, to the marina, and we're gonna pack up and head home. But we did have an awesome day of offshore and inshore trolling, especially with our guest Victor from Land Shark Fishing on the boat. Please subscribe, guys. Land Shark Fishing TV. We're gonna be doing a lot of fishing with Dar Sizzle. Yes, he already got ahead of me, but yes, check out his <laughs> channel. It's gonna be linked below, all the information. Check out, make sure you subscribe, okay? Subscribe to him, he's a great fisherman. He does a lot of land shark, land shark, oh, I'm sorry, a lot of shark fishing. On land. A lot of land. <laughs> land based. based. Land based there you shark go. fishing. That's what I meant, my but bad. But also everything else, we do offshore fishing. We do- Snakeheads. Me and Brooke, my girlfriend, we do everything, just like Darcizzle and Brian do. We do everything, like snakeheads, bass, sharks. We don't limit ourselves to anything. I don't turn my nose down to anything. I love Florida, I love bass. the outdoors, so that's what this channel is all about. Yeah, so please, please be sure, check them out, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And we'll be back again tomorrow with another adventure. I'm sure you're gonna see Victor and Brooke in a video real soon. We're gonna do another collaboration together. But until our next adventure, follow your dream and keep on catching.